there, my little cherry bomb. With your true leaves. Why can't I get you to focus? You focused on the picture setting. Am I too close? There we go. My little cherry bomb planted on March 16th. Today's March 28th. Nope, 29th. And you have your first set of true leaves a couple of days ago, actually. And uh, the others are starting to pop up. Camelot onions are up. Ground cherries are coming up. The other onions are coming up. What else here? There's something else over here. Those onions are coming up. The Monet pepper. Huh. I have one there. I have one there. And I have one there. So it's like they're running a race. Right here. Oh, where's my finger? Where's that giant? That one must have been the first one up. This one's trapped in its shell pod. And this one is... Looks like it's clapping its little hands, if it had. Let's call the leaves hands. The first two leaves that pop up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, or it's praying for water. <laughs> so what I do with these is I let these, because this is a tiny cell tray. When they didn't come up, uh, I just spritzed a little bit of water on the top. I don't try not to, I have a bad habit of overwatering. So I, every morning I lift to see if this tray feels light. And if it does, then it needs water. But if it doesn't, if it has some give to it, some weight, which it, it's beginning to now, I have to uh, take it out of this water bath here. Hang on. Alrighty now, I have the yellow pear tomato right here doing very well. They're liking to race the rest of them in this seedling tray. The beefsteak tomato, I have two up. I guess I'm going to have to move this plastic now. Because they're starting to come up and I don't want them to get a bented neck. Something fell behind me and I jumped. don't know what that was. Oh, okay, so tray. Alrighty, let's see. So the purple bell is the leader of the pack. <laughs> and the orange bell, let's see. I can't, I can actually see better through the camera than I can looking directly at them. <laughs> the green and the orange are still sleeping, but the purple bell is up and reaching for the sunlight. Well, the indoor light. But I'm happy with the beefsteak because I usually cannot grow beefsteak. I don't have a long enough uh, season for them to get big. But I'm trying again. They're old seeds, so I'm surprised they came up. The tomatillas, uh, nothing up there yet. Uh, but the sun, sun ray, they're up. Three of them. No, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Five of the yellow pear are up. So I planted eight. Five are up. Okay, that's good. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I already gave them a little drink. Now they could dry out for the next bit. I'm surprised. Uh, this uh, potting soil has been quite well, doing quite well, because uh, I have a fan on my plants to sort of strengthen up their little necks. And, uh, and I thought for sure I'd have to be completely watering everything every day, but I don't. So that's a good thing. So planted March 25th. Snowball, turnip, nada. Fennel, nada. Churred, not a not a, but the Tokyo turnip. <laughs> Boy, I, I met this is the one that I'm doing an experiment with a mass sowing. There's a lot of seeds in there, as you can see, and they're still coming up. 
So I'm gonna, I'm trying a test here on mass, sewing on mass, <laughs> so to speak. So uh, we'll see. But that's the update for these little babies. I was very happy this morning when I saw the Tokyo turnip. All of them, all their little heads popped out. They weren't there yesterday, but they're there today. Happy, happy little babies. It's a journey for them, too. Life's journey. These are Roma seeds. I think it was from... I have no idea what year. 16, 17, 18? Not, not 18. 16 or 17, 2016 or 17. These are from Ray, uh, an Iowa farmer. Um, Roma tomatoes. They're doing very well. Yeah, they're doing very well. Maybe I should put a little extra soil in there, I think. Quite possibly needs to be done. I'll let them swim in there for a little bit, soak up some of the water, uh, their little roots. Okay, reach for the bottom, which makes them stronger, little fellas. Well, I guess in case you're wondering what am I using, I'm using Premium Organic Seed Starting Mix. Uh, oh, there's a glare. My, oh, my co-active, my co-active, I have no idea what that means. Uh, just potting mix. I ordered from the seed company that I get my seeds from. I'm so glad I did. The nice thing about tomatoes is when they get a little leggy, you can just top them up with some soil and then they become happy, happy. Look at that. Happy, happy. And it supports them. I'm going to let them get bigger. They don't even have their true leaves yet. I'm not going to pot up. I'm going to let them support themselves for a while yet. It's got a long time before they, anything can go out. So they'll be happy, happy in there, I hope. We shall see. I had an idea. I find that these trays are awfully wiggly. They're just cheap trays. They're not the expensive hard body ones. So could I perhaps turn it into a hard body? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not send it through an exercise routine or lifting weights, but take some cardboard and put it in the bottom. There's actually two layers of cardboard in the bottom. So, if by chance, what I do with the other tray? Oh, I put it in the dining room. Hang on a second. Okay, start over. So, if by chance I take the second one and I put it in the top, of the first one, will that shore it up and make it stronger? Yes, it does. I think I'm going to scoot it down so it's more equal and give it a try that way. Alrighty then. Reuse, recycle. So I put it all the way across the bottom, made the little end piece here, Sacto knife. Now I'm going to turn them over just to show you. And then I put the two remainder parts I had on there and now I'm going to stack it and see how that works. Hey George, I think that's going to work for me. So I was just finishing up watering the rest of the plants. The um, what is that? Celery. There's one over here somewhere popping up but there he is. Hello little buddy. Happy birthday. And the, um, over here, what is that? Chives. I don't think there's anything there. Wish I knew how to turn the cell phone light on. I could probably get it brighter, but no, I don't think it's up yet. Now, these are saved seeds, so who knows. And then I have, oh boy, look at how baby's growing. I have butter crunch lettuce. Can't believe how long that took to come up. Yep, look at him. Looks like he's wearing a little army hat. <laughs> hey babies, how you doing? 
and we have some true leaves coming. Yes, we do. There we go. Oh boy, look at that true leaf. Aren't you pretty? I happen to find a channel called Rusty Gardener's Place, Allie D. Oh, she gave me a grand idea to use for my own garden. Built a, a structure that's, I believe it's rectangular, around um, her garden bed. And what does it say? Tear this. And uh, I made a comment about the structure, how cool it was. So she told me she has, uh, she bought buck netting that fits completely over the top. So the top is covered and the sides are covered. Awesome! So I thought, ooh, I could probably implement that in my new permaculture bed structure that I am going to be building. Uh-oh. What the heck is this? Oh. Hopefully that's the red... Oh, okay. <laughs> But it was supposed to be clear. And, uh, can't see that. There you go. Now, I'm not going to open it, but it's called a mosquito net. And it, it, this is in a little bag, which is also very cool. I couldn't get the same one that she purchased, but hopefully mine is going to be very similar to hers. And it came rather quickly through Amazon. I'm really shocked. But, uh, yeah, so to protect my plant from the cabbage moth butterfly. Yes, so I'm going to have to make a frame around my structure and figure out the deck, the bottom, I don't know, so they don't come up through the bottom of the deck and, yeah, I'll figure something out, but it's... Oh, boy, I'm so excited about this year. Usually everything gets eaten up by the, the well, the, the cabbage moth butterfly flutters over everything. As soon as it warms up and they show up, they don't leave until the first snow. And they lay eggs, hundreds and, well, no, thousands of eggs on everything. That is a brassica. And then it did little caterpillars. You can't keep up with them. I tried. Every morning I'm out there with a little jar in my hand and water and dumping them in there. And no, you can't get them all. You can't see them all. And uh, so hopefully this will solve the problem. Hopefully. Between this and my uh, felt type, uh, the white covering. You know, the frost protector covering, but sunlight comes through and rain comes through. So between those two things, I think... I may actually get some vegetables for myself. Wish me luck.